For the best in eyewear, call Dr. Leak's Optometry. We're campaigning hard right now because the, the new mail-in ballot system has kind of changed the time frame. And um, with everybody being in quarantine right now, uh, really changed the whole dynamics of trying to campaign. So a lot of social media, um, a lot of emails, mailers trying to get the word out, um, putting up campaign signs every night after work. So because we've had the, the corona pandemic, um, we've, we've seen a huge economic impact on our state. Um, and so the Republicans have been going through our budget for the state and figuring out where um, we can cut in some areas where we shouldn't be cutting in our budget because um, we're going to have some big decisions to make. Now, I will say this last session, um, we had one of the largest surpluses. Um, and so we funded our rainy day fund and we have over $400 million set aside just for this right now. There was another $170 million that was not allocated in the budget. Um, so we have close to $600 million to help get us through um, this economic hardship. And um, we've actually started to earmark some programs where um, we can cut some funding, some new programs that haven't even got up and running yet that were in the budget um, and, and try to make the least amount of impact we can, but do the most good. Here in Nye County, um, I just mentioned roads is a big issue. Uh, this last session, I, I fought to try to lower the cost of building roads. Um, we had a little bit of success in one bill and not success in another. Um, but I do plan on going back to try to help lower the cost of the construction of the roads. I think that that's the, the first step. Um, here in Knight County, the other thing is, is per preserving our rural lifestyle. Um, I think that that's important. And that was one of the big things that I did uh, this last session is, is explain to the Vegas legislators that the impact that their bills, with unintended consequences most of the time, um, were and then help work with them to amend their bills to, to not have that impact on our, our rural communities. Um, throughout the whole state. So this last session, um, I actually fought to help protect all of our wells out here. Um, there were some really bad legislative actions that were, were being pushed, and it was completely partisan. Um, the Democrat Party had their agenda, and they were trying to ram it down our throats. Um, I stood up, I spoke on the floor, trying to fight for our wells. I was successful in some of the bills, um, which was good. Um, I think we need to go back and repeal some of the bills that were passed um, because they were bad and they would have an impact. Um, and that's one of my goals, is, is, like I stated, to try to preserve our rural lifestyle, which includes protecting our water and our, our wells.